Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So I've been thinking about this a lot and I think I Love You is, is where it's headed. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So, there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side, and I know we'll be both happy. Have gooey. Suddenly Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Aww. Aww. Have gooey. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Kabugui. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? Not going away at all, Kavgui. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. It's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So... I guess that makes the festival tomorrow? Our first date, huh? Hee hee hee. What are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Cap Gooey. Sorry gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I... I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It... it felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. And that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. Now do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Oh. Oh. That. See, that's the thing. That that's the thing. Oh man. Oh, it's so tough. Because, like, she's very emotional at that time. And then, like, telling her I love her. Is that really the thing I should have said? But, oh my gosh, this is so hard. Because no, I don't understand what that means, the outcome of that. No, I don't know. I hope that's not the wrong answer, but. Uh, the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. 
considering going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry out the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting me a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. And knowing more Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Have Gooey! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early! That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. It must be the one she prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. That's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayuri with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important she'd try a little harder? I say that but I suddenly remember what Sayuri told me yesterday. I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ha ha ha. To take a little responsibility for her, Kavgui. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But... I stammer embarrassed. Did Sari really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being, is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Okay, so that would mean that Monica actually has been talking to Sayuri a lot more with her feelings and her depression, so she totally understands what is going on. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Okay. Yeah, sure. Grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. The member's poem is nearly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. One that I haven't read before. Oh. Okay. Percentage. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Infinitely. Out of my head, out of my head, get out of my head. Out of... No, it's the same thing. It doesn't change until... Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head, I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh oh. Ah. What is this? I mean, the poem I get a pit in my stomach. Have Gooey? What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. The poem feels completely different from everything else Sayuri's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go against Sayuri, so. Ah. Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at, at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of wait, walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides... I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs. And what I want to give her. I reach Sari's house and knock on the door. Oh no. I have a bad feeling. 
Bad, 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 bad feeling. Oh boy. I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Because I have a very bad feeling. Oh. We'll find the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!